Yeah, I think uh, obviously a lot of talent. They've had some um, some big games leading into the All Black series, and George Bridge obviously has been on the radar for them for a while. Um, you know, he's got kind of no offence to Ben Smith, but I think he's got that kind of future ahead of him to be kind of similar to how he plays the game and and to be I suppose for him to be working with him and and learning the role and all the rest of it is um, you know he's pretty fortunate um, not to mention all the other um, experience around it but there seems to be a, a kind of a similarity but with his own kind of way he's good um, under the high ball and Robbie probably knows more than I do but um, you know he definitely seems he's got all the skills he's uh, you know a heck of a um, ball carrier even when you look at Sevu, obviously he's got real X Factor and we've seen what he can do and I was actually at a game um, in New Zealand and saw him score a couple of tries against the Lions, I think it was, and they're pretty special just the, the skill level that he has. Bobby, how was it to get back when you got on the pitch? Yeah, it was good. Um, positive to, to be back and uh, um, to be back playing. You know, it was a tough start for me um, personally, but uh, thankful to the medics and, and the staff that... Uh, you know, helped me turn it around and and to be back for for uh, I suppose one game before before the quarters. So um, yeah, it was good. It was uh, good to get a hit out and against a tough physical S- Samoan side. You've had some good days obviously as a group and against the All Blacks. How do you feel about this particular challenge? It feels a bit bigger obviously because it's a one quarter. Yeah, it's um, it's a huge challenge for us. Um, you know, um, I know every fan would be. Uh, really geared up for this, and we we are as as, uh, as players, you know, it's um, it's a incredible uh, tournament to play in, and uh, to be playing potentially the best team in the world is um, is an added bonus. So um, it's going to be you know a huge occasion, um, and we know we will need our supporters in in full voice with us in the stadium, and, and we know we know they'll be there for us. So um, yeah, it's uh, really looking forward to it now. It's it's, it's going to be. Good. Yeah, uh, I think um, they're what they've chosen is um, kind of what what we predicted. Um, you know, Leonard Brown is, is a football player and he's he's a dangerous true contact, pretty really deceptively strong and um, you know looks for looks for offloads. Um, so yeah, we we need to have our our homework done and and. Uh, Need to be able to shut down their space early and um, just make sure that uh, we can't, can't allow them spend time and space in the ball. Greg, you um, you were led to have to against Ireland, and you know you know obviously a lot about what that means for New Zealand. We've seen a couple of times when sort of in Chicago there was something to tribute to, to Axel, and then in, in November there was the collective step forward. Um, will we see something similar? For the hack of this time, is there, is there sort of a careful balance to be struck in um, receiving that challenge in a respectful way? Yeah, I think um, most teams now um, show their respect to it. You know, they don't do anything that's going to, you know, and I think uh, everyone understand what it's, understands um, what it's about um, and, the, and the tribute that it is. Um, what, you know, there's a deep, deeper meaning to it for the, for the New Zealanders, um, obviously, um, but for us, Actually, that today was probably where, now that we've got all that preparation in terms of the game and things like that, I think those conversations um, will probably take place uh, amongst the senior boys um, over the next 24 hours and and um, and have a look at that a bit more and just you know um, and see where we go and what best fits um, the team first to to perform, you know. Um, <coughs> and, and Robbie and is, is one of our leaders and he'll have an influence on that. A lot of the boys will. You know, they don't want to get too distracted in terms of changing anything that they do with their pre-game rituals and stuff. But I think at the end of the day, um, the key is just making sure that those last few minutes of the game for them is, is not going to be too distracting and that they can just, he can be Robbie, for instance. You know. What role did it mean to you to, to lead that and what, what does it mean to New Zealand? Yeah, I mean, it was uh, at the time, um, <clears throat> you know, you're, you're younger, you're, you're extremely proud at the time. Um, you know, I suppose a little bit emotional, a little bit kind of like, um, how do I end up doing this type of things, you know? Um, but then you end up just embracing it and, and then getting the boys around you to support you and you just uh, do, it's like playing rugby, I suppose, you just represent um, something like that as best you can with the utmost respect and <coughs> um, like anything. Um, 
if I had been a bit more mature, I might have done it a little bit better. I might have done it a bit faster at the time. But um, um, apart from that, yeah, it's it's a privilege, I suppose. And, and within, but any even just putting a jersey on for any country is a, is a privilege. And even as a coach as well, to be here as a, at a World Cup with Ireland is a privilege. So. Um, you know, very, been very lucky over the years to have these uh, experiences. Broken uh, a lot of pain, obviously, this week in the uh, Ireland's recent record against New Zealand for you personally. Chicago was massive. Um, what do you think that did for you? What are your memories of that day in particular? And how much did that change the dynamic between Ireland and, and New Zealand? Yeah, it, um, it was a special day. Um, really, really good, good time. I suppose it's it's now in the, uh, about two years ago, is it? Yeah, so it's. It's quite a quite a while ago, but I suppose um, for us, we've you know we built on that, and um, you know we had a great performance against New Zealand uh, in the last November series as well at home. So um, you know it's I suppose that was a, a key kind of uh, stepping stone into you know how how this team has progressed over the last few years, and um, you know we've you know been it's a it's a tight group, um, you know it. Uh, Boys are unbelievably close, and um, you know everyone's worked hard over the last few years. So it's um, definitely given us a lot of confidence, um, you know, dating back to, to that day. What about the one two weeks later when I know you, you end up getting knocked out? But when they came at you with that ferocity, was that a, a kind of a, another educational experience of what the level is that when they bring if they throw out the ball in Chicago, that you need to get to another level again? Two weeks later. Yeah, well, we expected, um, you know. Uh, them to come out of the blocks early and, and to, to hit us with I suppose a uh, fast physical game and um, you know they they started very well in, in, in that game and, and they got on the scoreboard early but um, yeah unfortunately for me I was I was lurried off after ten minutes so um, but definitely looking back to it it was still a tight enough quite a tight game and um, you know it comes down to small margins and you know a good start in the game is it can be vital. Um, so every team really wants to, you know, hit the ground running once that whistle's blown, and um, you know, can't underestimate a, a good start in the game. Rory, uh, Johnny said earlier in the week that sleep may be an issue this week, just with the excitement levels. Has that been the case? What's the excitement levels like? Um, I don't know. I think we've we've settled into the first couple of weeks was tough now with the jet lag and stuff, but um, I suppose there'll be a few players who are can be a bit nervy and stuff and. And can um, not have sleepless nights, but can wake up a bit. But I think, you know, our, the work we've we've put in during the week um, allows us to to build confidence going into this weekend. And um, you know, it's, it's just a great challenge, and we're we're in a great position to uh, to be here. And um, just look really looking forward to it. Robbie, you mentioned uh, supporters there. There seems to be thousands of Irish supporters who've uh, got tickets for the round. Uh, for the final, are mm-hmm. uh, your own family and friends sorted out? Or are you? Um, yeah, my phone hasn't uh, been ringing too much so far, so I think uh, the friends and family are, are okay at the moment. But I've heard from from other people that there's been a lot of uh, exchanging and swapping uh, tickets. But <coughs> I'm sure uh, I'm sure the, the supporters will find a way to be there. Um, just even from last week, it was it was unbelievable uh, down in Fukuoka. The the atmosphere was, was ridiculous and then I heard of people flying home uh, last Sunday to, to say that they're coming back out for, for this weekend after the results so it's um, you know it's it's unbelievable to hear that as, as a player and you know we again we uh, can't underestimate our supporters How much do you break this challenge? This is what you put on all that work for all that rehab that you did a couple of weeks ago mm. this, is, this is it isn't it? Absolutely yeah it's um, you know it's, it only comes this chance when it comes around f- every four years and for some people in the squad who've been lucky enough to play in, in <coughs> three four world cups it's uh, it's incredible and um yeah it's just to i suppose to have to be playing a team of, of such quality as well in in the quarterfinals is um it's it's a massive massive challenge and you know we're, we're going to embrace it and we're going to enjoy it it's um you know again going back to it it comes around every four years so you know it's it's just it's an exciting time. I agree, I imagine Steve Henson's a guy you know really well from back in the day or do you still have a relationship with him and he's coming near the end of his coaching tenure and how did you rate him as a as an all blacks coach? 
Uh, yeah, I had them back in Canterbury days and uh, really enjoyed him and got on really well with him as a person. Um, he had a certain way of, you know, you've probably noticed it as well, he just has that kind of dry sense of humour, um, a great way to um, approach things around your game. Um, he was always um, uh, generally pretty positive about about you as a player and then would suddenly kind of um, start drip feeding the, uh, the work ons into it and um, he's always conscious of the group and getting the best out of you and um, and when I do see him it's uh, there's always a good catch up, we always have a good chat and I uh, always enjoy um, the time and now he's a bit of a legend of the game so back then he was kind of um, just kicking into the Super Rugby and um, NPC and um, it's good to see uh, his success and how, how well he's gone and um, just hopefully it doesn't continue this week.